Tesla occupied nearly 80% of BEV market share in California in Q1. April 18, 2022. Tesla. The undisputed market leader in electric vehicles. Shines again in all its glory. The manufacturer took about 80% of the California BEV market share in Q1 2022 with Model 3. Model Y and Model S in the top three spots. While Model X is in sixth place. All electric vehicles are doing well in California. Capturing an increasing share of the market. In Q1 2022. There were 497,992 new vehicle registrations in California. According to the California Energy Commission, 67,118 of them were BEVs, which accounted for 13.5% of the automotive market share. For the full year of 2021, the state's BEV share was 9.1%. So the results for Q1 2022 hint that BEVs could significantly increase their market share this year. At FACTS underscore Tesla, Twitter indicated that the clear leader in Q1 sales was Tesla, which had a 78% share of the BEV market in California. The love of local consumers is so high that the brand has captured a 10.6% share of the total automotive market. The performance of each model sold by the manufacturer is also impressive, as three models are in the top three places, and another one is in sixth place in the BEV market. Tesla Model 3 became the best-selling car with 24,375 registrations. This quarter, it marginally outperformed its younger sibling, which has been the state's best-selling lately. Tesla registered 23,117 Model E's, putting the car in second place. Both cars have no equal in terms of the number of sales in the segment, with a huge gap, but still with a lot of sales. In third place is another model from Tesla. The new Model S has found a home with 3,557 Californians. Sure to bring them many positive ownership experiences. Tesla Model X came in sixth place with 1.516 registrations. Thus, all Tesla models that are on sale today are extremely successful in California. The Hyundai Ioniq 5 finished in fourth place with 1959 registrations. The Ford Mach E is in fifth place with 1664 units. Source reposted and summarized from Eva Fox at Tasmanian. My take that's what happens when you are years ahead of the competition. Tesla Model Y joins the New York City yellow cab fleet through gravity. April 18th, 2022. The next time you are looking for a cab in New York. You may be able to flag down a Tesla Model Y yellow cab. Gravity Mobility has added a Tesla Model Y to their yellow cab fleet. This addition is through an EV adoption program adopted by New York City's Taxi and Limousine Commission. The Model Y is the third EV to enter into service as a yellow cab so far. The Model 3 is already on the road. As is the Ford Mustang Mach-E Gravity Mobility will now operate both the Ford Mustang Mach-E and the Tesla Model Y for its fleet. The Model Y will provide ample luggage room and space for passengers looking for a cab in the Big Apple. Source reposted and summarized from Scott Nordland at Drivities La Canada. My take I'm a little surprised it took so long. Tesla FSD Beta now has over 100k drivers in the program. Tesla's FSD Beta program has over 100,000 drivers actively participating. Elon Musk revealed during his TED interview. Musk also stated that Tesla would achieve full self-driving this year. This time, he is more confident. Chris Anderson hosted Elon Musk during his latest TED Talk interview. Anderson asked about Musk's latest timeline for Tesla to achieve full self-driving. The TED host clarified that by achieving full self-driving he meant Tesla cars could drive around most cities without human interventions. Safer than a human driver. Yes. I mean. The car currently drives me around Austin most of the time with no interventions. Musk replied. And we have over 100,000 people in our full self-driving beta program. Anderson delved deeper into the development of Tesla's self-driving program to better understand why Musk's previous one-year or two-year timeline for the autonomous software DIDNT reached fruition. Musk explained there were so many false dawns in the self-driving program. There were plenty of times when Tesla believed it was making actual progress. He said that Tesla's progress was like a log curve. Speaking about log curves. Elon Musk told Anderson it goes up, you know, sort of fairly straight away, and then it starts tailing off, and you start getting diminishing returns. 
Musk shared that Tesla's journey with full self-driving was a series of log curves for a bit where it felt like they were making strides. But then progress seemed to hit a ceiling. And they'd have to start again. However, it appears that Tesla has gone down the right path now. And ultimately, these things, you know, in retrospect, they seem obvious. But in order to solve full self-driving properly, you actually have to solve real-world AI Musk said. Source reposted and summarized from Maria Murano at Tesla RT. My take FSD will help Tesla become a $10 trillion company. Elon Musk sits down with Chris Anderson for an in-depth interview. April 18, 2022. Elon Musk sat down with the head of TED. Chris Anderson. To provide an in-depth and thought-provoking discussion. The interview happened a day before Giga Texas opened on April 6. Elon Musk then joined TED 2022 a week later, where he touched on Twitter, his issues with the SEC and how his brain works. Chris Anderson wanted to focus on the future in this discussion. He asked Elon to describe 10.20, or even 30 years into the future and what it will take to build a future that he is excited about. The 70-minute interview is in-depth and touches on a wide range of subjects. Some of the topics include 1. The massive battery ramp-up that is needed for the electricity grid. 2. The rollout of smart robots, including the Optimus. 3. The rollout of full self-driving. 4. The Neuralink brain interface. 5. Details on space exploration and Mars 6. Chris also asks about the issues that Musk, as the world's richest man, and the stress that Elon faces leading a public company. 7. They also touch on the argument around combining his companies under a single corporate umbrella. 8. We will take a bit of a deeper dive in the coming days and provide some additional details on some of the more interesting tidbits. The exclusive interview just hit YouTube. And you can check it out below. Source reposted and summarized from Scott Nordland at Drive Tesla Canada. My take it's a good watch. Check it out.